I think one of the testaments to good design is that um, we have now have a space that people are really happy to want to work with our company because of the because of the physical environment of the building. I mean, we're, it's a wonderful building. It's in a great part of Melbourne. It's right. It's you know we're in the city on Collins Street. It's a gorgeous old department store. But people walk into our space, and and I love I love the fact that they're very jealous of the, of the office space that we have. I think the impact that the space has and the building has on George Patterson's y &R is that the building is a landmark building within Melbourne. It has a lot of resonance within the community of Melbourne. I think the interior and the workplace reflects that resonance. I think it expresses a notion that George Pat's y &R are here to stay. They're actually part of the fabric of Melbourne. I've been in this office for about two years now and I'd say it's definitely the best office I've ever worked in. Um, it's, it's hard to pin down exactly what it is that makes it so, so good and so much fun, but you can just see by the way people interact as they, as they move around. It's, it's a place that everyone enjoys working. Everyone always talks about the light, I think that's a big part of it. Um, so we wanted to, we wanted the first impression of the space to be of a working environment, a place where people are doing, doing what they do and it's all visible to you when you walk in. So um, reception was half concierge, half boutique hotel, lobby, half library, all of those things but I like that it's confusing for people in that they're not sure if they're in the reception. At the beginning of the project in talking with George Pat's y &R, we collectively understood that it was the act of being creative and the act of working that was fundamentally important to the project. That we collectively agreed that we didn't want to hide what they do, what George Patterson's do. We wanted to actually celebrate it and express it. Coming from very corporate style offices myself and then working in an office like, you know, George Pat's, it's really easy to see the difference and, you know, from what I've come from, which is like a rabbit warren of offices and, you know, Dilbert style office space to work in somewhere like this. You come into work with a smile on your face. I guess there's a belief that we have that if people feel comfortable in the environment that they're in, that they actually work at their best. There's something inherently efficient and productive about being comfortable. People need private spaces, they need collaborative spaces, they need a diverse range of spaces to work at their best and those spaces uh, foster not only creativity but people coming together and feeling comfortable to engage with each other. I would hate to have myself as a client. Um, that said, I really did enjoy the collaboration, so I had a great time being able to work. I, worked, I must have been working with the guys from Hassel, um, Meredith and Scott and every, all the rest of the team didn't feel much different to working with our creative teams. This space has really made the culture a lot more relaxed. Um, I've been here for probably four and a half years now um, and just came back from maternity leave and I've noticed a difference in the atmosphere um, and in the, the whole vibe of the place since going away for that length of time, for a year, and then coming back. So um, I've seen it to be a much more personal and friendly space as I you know, remembered it to be. I think the success of any project really is about the engagement with the client and the design team. Uh, we don't come to any project with a preconceived idea of what the project should be or should look like. I think that's what makes interest, uh, design interesting. The design is interesting when a client and a design team have a mutual and clear vision about what they want to get out of the project.